G is for gardening. There's something about rolling up your sleeves and getting your hands dirty. Gardening gives you the opportunity to do this literally. Audrey Hepburn said, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. There are a few better ways to spend a spring day than with your hands full of warm earth, eyes full of hot sun, fostering a future and filling your heart full of hope. I love the work of Wendell Berry and an excerpt from one of his agrarian essays talks of how when you cultivate a garden, you improve a piece of the world. I believe a responsibility that each individual carries is to heal parts and pieces of the world. In a general sense, not necessarily an environmental sense. Gardening gives you the ability to do this literally, to heal or improve a piece or plot of the world. And a garden will reward your efforts and give back to you, and not just with the literal fruits of your labor. It will provide you with a deeper understanding of the meaning of food and flowers. A garden can give you independence from things like big agribusiness and biotech companies, and a chance to curb the precarious genetic conformity that they legislate. Gardens can be beautiful, bountiful, biodiverse oases in urban and rural forlorn food deserts, improving those plotted pieces of the world and the plights of the people who live in those types of areas where they don't have direct access to healthy foods. Like all things, a garden is evidence of how it is treated. A faithful gardener will soon see the substance of things hoped for.